So in my last vlog, I mentioned about Manston, the boot fairs, and some of the other events that they hold. Well, I went to a boot fair this morning because I thought, you know, it'd be nice to see what it's like. Um, the boot fairs are very dependent on weather. It's very, very windy, which meant that it was very windy up there because it's a very open space, and that meant that the boot fairs really, not many people turned up because it's just too windy for anybody to sort of get anything laid out because anything you put out will blow away. But there's not a lot you can do about the weather. It is the weekend of the British Grand Prix as well, and if you're watching that on TV, you'll notice that's also got weather problems, which is typical. It's also Wimbledon. And again, Wimbledon, as we know, terrible weather. So, what am I doing? Well, I'm on my way to a little car meet. It's at a place called Chalock, and it's sort of a muscle car meet. It's by a group called the Muscle Car Mafia. Picture showed picture of the Ace Cafe in London and it says they'll be here today from one o'clock. So I thought I'll pop along, have a quick look, take some pictures before the football starts, because this afternoon, England are in the quarterfinals of the Euros, and I want to sit and watch that, obviously. So I'm gonna do a quick look at this, see if there's anything here, and then go back for the football. And to explain what I said about the weather, saying that the weather wasn't very nice, if you look behind me at that, it's very, very horrible and gray and nasty. If I turn around, I mean that way it's actually quite nice and sunny so yeah it's gonna come over grey and horrible soon so the car makes great though because it's outside so on the sort of green at the back of the pub um, which is a really good idea it's a nice place to do it nice and clean it's out of the way don't have to park on the road it's, yeah it's great <laughs> That's a nice little meet, nice handful of cars there, mainly Mustangs obviously, um, and a couple of trucks. They call them trucks, we call them pickups. It's a very nice country pub, it's literally in the middle of nowhere, but it's very much a motorist type pub. It's lots of memorabilia from racing Ferrari, Porsches, that sort of stuff. They do all sorts, it's just occasionally not known when they're on. So I have to look on Facebook or look on somewhere else just to find out when something's going on and then pop over here. I did mention about finding out when stuff's on. Well, it's quite simple actually. All we've got to do is look at their Facebook page, which is B Road at the Stag. I will put a link for that down here. Take a look at the page. It actually shows that they do events quite often. So it's normally a midweek and a weekend one. They vary them. There's like classic car shows. There's the muscle event, which I went to with the American cars. But there's also VW events, mini events. There's some stuff with German cars, which they're doing on Wednesday night this week. And there's also a Jap one coming up soon. I think near the end of the week, there's a Japanese car meet. Space-wise, they offer space for about 40 cars to get on the green out the back. If you're exhibiting a car, you pay f to exhibit your car and you get a meal thrown in. It's like bratwurst chips or something, or bratwurst sausage, I don't know, something or other. Obviously, if you're going as a guest to visit just to look at the cars and you don't pay anything at all, it's completely free, just wander around the gardens. If you want to go in and have a drink, you can do. The drinks are very nice. They do everything you'd normally expect in a pub. And the food's very nice. And it's just nice to go and look at the memorabilia and all the stuff around it, all the motorist stuff, the signs, the lights, bits of cars, wheels, all sorts of stuff lying around. And there's a little sticker jar on the bar so you can get free stickers, which obviously I took advantage of. And there's also stuff you can buy, air fresheners and key rings and all sorts of stuff. So actually it's a great place if you're into cars and stuff like that. And yes, I did go home to watch the football and luckily we got through the quarterfinals, which means we're into the semi-finals, which is on the Wednesday night. Same night as they're doing a BMW stroke Mercedes stroke Porsche Audi event, which is like a German car event at the Stag. Um, but the football's on as well, although they will be showing the football as well. Whether or not we'll get for the semi-final, we don't know. But this video will either be out or after then, so if we did, well done. If we didn't, well, okay. What are the odds of two boys failing? Remote. Make that three. On another note, as I said, the weather wasn't that brilliant. The weather was up and down. It was grey one side and sort of sunny the other side. Um, I found that the other day as well, about a week or so ago, we had a really hot day. It was about 24, 25 degrees out, but on the coast it was freezing cold because there was a mist. 
So I thought, I know, I'll take the drone now because I've never really been able to do sort of cloudy type mist shots with a drone before because the mist was very, very low. And that's really good if you've got a drone because you can't really fly your drones high enough for the clouds because you've got a limit of 400 feet. So it was nice to get the drone out and fly it around the edge of the fog. Now you can't fly into the fog because you can't see where you're going because you might lose your drone and also you haven't got line of sight with it. But it was nice to get it into the gaps and sort of on the edge. Strange thing was, as I said, it was bloody freezing in the fog and yet there were people out on the beach. There's people on the sand, which is just sort of up to the edge of the water and then the fog starts. So if you was on the sand, you'd be sitting there in 25 degree heat. If you went into the water, the water's probably going to be pretty cold anyway, but if you get into the mist, which was right on the edge of the water, the mist temperature massive dropped to about nine, eight or nine degrees, something like that. So it felt freezing, which is the idea. It was a freezing mist, freezing fog. So really, really cold. And then you come back out into really hot and all of a sudden it was too hot out of the fog. So, But it was nice to get some good shots and nice to get out and about with the drone, which again, I will do more of that as well as I go on through the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. 